Y'all are asking me why I don't date. I'm going to tell you why I don't date. So I've been in four serious relationships and they went a lot like this. I don't want you wearing that. I don't want you being friends with her. I don't want you being friends with him. I don't want you working there. I don't want you living there. I don't want you to go spend the weekend with your family. I don't want you traveling. I don't want you playing on a sports team. Relationships give me limitations that I don't actually appreciate. So why not be free to do whatever I want without having someone? Men are needy. Why aren't you texting me back? Why didn't you call me? I don't have to text anyone back and I don't have to call anyone. And it is so freeing. I can do whatever I want, whenever I want. Why would I be in a relationship? People go, oh, just find a friends with benefits. Find a friends with benefits. I did that. Friends with benefits works until it doesn't. And now I have a restraining order on someone. I don't see the point. I don't see the point. I don't. I'm happy. And everything a man can do for me, I can do a hundred times better on my own. I know that. Uh huh. So let's let's talk about why this is actually happening. And I want to start with the whole men are needy. Why aren't you texting me back? Why aren't you doing this? Well, that's called building a relationship, building trust. And men have emotional needs too. But that's not what I want to focus on. You talked at the end there about how men are needy, and there's nothing a man can do for you that you can't do yourself. And that is why your relationships are failing. One of the reasons. The second reason is after a relationship fails, you don't take the time to dissect where you could be going wrong. Therefore the cycle continues because what we allow will continue. Instead, you're not dating for love and that's what you don't understand is it's not about what benefits you can get from a relationship even though nowadays relationship isn't really about preferences, it is about benefits, but you're not really seeing men for the intrinsic value that they can bring your life, which is love appreciation, the little things, the things that you cannot do for yourself because as human beings we are completely fulfilled when we are loved by another human being. But that's just it, right? So my question is, is if you think that men are needy and there's nothing that they can't do for you, then I would assume that you probably had a lot of expectations in your previous relationships. And if you did, why can't they put expectations on you? That's just my question. But the reality is, is that you probably are somebody who doesn't dissect your red flags or your boundaries. And therefore, when you find someone you connect with, you just kind of dive in head first. It would make it very easy to love bomb you and manipulate you. And that could be why you're finding those men. It's true. Modern day dating really is about controlling somebody unless you stick your boundaries down first and you take your time and not paint everybody with the same shade of gray. Do you hear what I'm saying? It starts with you. Men are not useless and dating is not pointless. It's idiotic that you would make that based off of the four men out of the billions in the world.